guys, it's Lisa from tocreativewebsite.com and today I'm gonna talk about all things headers for WordPress. I did a video about this about two and a half years ago, but WordPress of course has since been updated and I wanna make a more relevant video. Now, I have to say this is a pretty tricky video to do because everybody has different themes with WordPress. Some of you guys have paid themes, so updating things may be a little bit easier. Some of you guys have free themes and you'll have to do more of the manual work. So I'm gonna try to cover all my bases with this video, so hang with me. Okay, so many themes today have widgets. So if you go to appearance and then widgets, you will see the available widgets for your particular theme over here on the right side. Now this is the Genesis lifestyle theme that I'm using for naturallycurly.com, my hair blog. And you can see it comes with a ton of different widgets, which is what you often get when you buy a premium theme, which I love. So as you can see here, this theme already has a widget for the right side of my header. So let's say I wanted to add a search box or a calendar or just some social media icons or even some AdSense code. All I would have to do, let's say I wanted to add AdSense code to the right side of my header. I could just grab this text widget and just put it right here in the header right widget and then paste my AdSense code or whatever code I wanted to put here and instantly my header will be updated. Now, I didn't do it that way for this particular site because I wanted the buttons to be placed in a very specific location and I'll show you how to do that later. Um, if I had used the widget, then it would have covered up part of my logo. Um, but uh, this is really cool if you have the space and you don't wanna make any changes to the design of your theme, you just wanna add something to the right side, then you can just use the widget that already exists. So let's talk about how I did this. What if you wanna add some icons to your existing header? Maybe you're fine with the design, but you just wanna throw up a few icons or an AdSense banner or something like that, and you don't have a widgetized header button like I do. Let me show you how to do it. It's not really hard, so hang with me, guys. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to your Appearance tab, and then you're gonna go down to Editor. Click that, and then you should be in your Themes Style Sheet style.css, or if you're using thesis, that would be custom.css, but typically it's something like style.css. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna create an ID. Sounds complicated, but it's very simple. All this ID is going to do is tell the browser exactly where you wanna position these icons. So you start your ID with the pound sign and you do pound whatever you wanna name it, doesn't matter. I called mine RSS because I was really just gonna do this for an RSS button, but I ended up doing it for my Twitter button, YouTube button and all that. So you can call it whatever you wanna call it and then you open it with a brace. You're gonna use the open brace and then you're just gonna put this text here. Position, absolute, top, two pixels, right, zero pixels. What the heck does that mean? All that's saying is position these icons two pixels from the top and zero pixels over from the right. And then you close the brace. That's all you gotta do. Just add that code to your style sheet. Now obviously you will change these coordinates to whatever's you know, best for your site, but that's all you need, okay? So now what you're gonna do is open your header.php file because remember, we're putting this in the header. So you're gonna need to open your header file. Okay, so you're gonna stay in the appearance, you're gonna to go to editor, and then over on the right side, you're gonna click header.php to open that file. So now do a control F, command F, however you find text, and you're gonna do a search for header. And after a few searches, it may take a couple of times for you to find it, you're gonna find or look for something that says div ID equals header. This is important because you're gonna to have to put the code, your AdSense code, whatever you're putting on your site, your social media icons, whatever this code is, you're going to have to paste that code below or after the div ID equals header tag. So you're just gonna return down a couple times and this is where you would paste your AdSense code, paste your social networking icon code, whatever you're adding here, this is where you would put it. So then you're gonna save it and then when you save it, you should see it now inside your header. Now remember guys, you're working live. So I would highly recommend to use instant WordPress. I talked about this in my last WordPress tutorial video. That way you can test everything locally before going live. 
So just a tip with that. So after you save this and you've saved your style sheet, you saved your header.php file, then you should see whatever you want to place here located in your header. Okay, now what about changing your header entirely? What if you want to replace the entire image that is on your header? One thing I always tell people is if you know you're going to want to customize your header, try to find a theme that has a customizable header. Because if a theme has one, you should see it right in your appearance tab right here, like this one does, where it says header. This is actually the Genesis lifestyle theme. I think all of the Genesis themes have customizable headers. Um, so you're going to go to appear appearance and look for header. And when you click it, you'll see that this theme allows me to browse and then upload my own header. And they even tell me the exact size. So how do you create your own header? If you have Photoshop or paint.net, which is free, I'm going to show you how super, super easy it is. Okay. So here I am in Photoshop. Let's go up to file new 920 by 150. Remember that's the size that the theme told me to use. So here's my new header. We're just going to grab the text tool real quickly and I'm going to type header. And of course you can type your site name, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to click the move tool up here and we're just going to move it to where we want it to go. Now, if you have a picture of yourself that you want to drag in here, you can open up a picture in Photoshop or paint and just drag it over. You know, you can pretty it up, do whatever you want to do. So now you're going to go file, save for web or save whatever the program you're using. And then I typically like to save my images as PNG files because they're a better quality file. So you're just going to save that and then put it on your computer somewhere. Now you're going to go back to WordPress and then you're going to browse and then you're going to upload it. And then it should replace your existing header. Most themes today have a header replacement option. And when you're searching for themes, when you go over to appearance themes, install themes, so what you want to do is check the box that says custom header. That way, when you say find themes, it'll only bring up themes that have custom headers. And if you're searching for a premium theme, a paid theme, which I personally recommend, I think you just get a better theme. You get more customizable features with a premium theme like Genesis or thesis or whatever. Make sure that the theme you're buying has, you know, a customizable header or a widgetized header. And if your theme, let's say you do have a free theme and you don't have a widget or it's not as easy to customize your header, you can actually add a header widget to your theme. And if you Google widgetized headers or widgetized footers or whatever, there are tons of articles out there that, that show you how to create a widget for your, your site. So if you want to create a header widget like I have, let me go back to mine. If you want, um, you know, a widget on the right side of your header or in your footer or whatever, you can actually create one. And there are tons of, of articles out there that show you how to do that. Now, what if your theme doesn't have any of these options and you just have no idea how to get in here and change <laughs> your, your header? Well, first things first, if that is the case, get a new theme, get an updated theme. I mean, these days, ever since WordPress 3.0 came out, I think the themes have gotten a lot better. So if you don't have a update your header or customize your header or upload your header option, then throw that theme away. Seriously. Um, <laughs> so, but here's the old school way of doing it. You can go to your site, right? So you will right click over your header image and go to view background image. And it's going to tell you exactly where that image is saved. So mine is saved in my WP content folder, upload folder, 2012.02 header for .png. So that's the name of the file. And this is the folder. This is the folder structure where it's saved. So I'm not going to go into this here because it'll make the video way too long, but Google FTP program, learn how to use an FTP program and upload your image and replace this image that is already there. So you'll, you'll create your own image right in Photoshop or paint, name it exactly what this image is called and then upload it and just overwrite this image. So if you have trouble with uploading, check with your web host, you can use an FTP program or you can upload the image directly, probably from your hosting control panel. So that's the old school way of doing it. But hopefully in 2012, nobody has to do that with their site because that's just crazy. So 
that's all. Thanks for watching you guys. I hope this video was helpful and I hope I was able to cover all of the bases or at least most of the bases. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.